Let's talk about the best herbs for parasites. Now, what is a parasite? A parasite could be some microorganism, a worm, a bacteria, that basically lives off your body but doesn't give you anything back. At least your friendly bacteria exchange with you. They give you immune protection. They help make vitamins, vitamin K, uh, K2, a whole series of B vitamins. They actually make antioxidants. They'll even eat things that you don't even eat. They'll eat fiber and they convert it into things like uh, chemicals like butyrate, which help give your colon cells energy, and they even help with your blood sugars. Let me give you another example of what I consider a parasite. One day I saw this flyer um, of this guy who is, will come to your house and cut your grass. Called him up, so he's gonna cut my grass. So I left, I had to go somewhere. I come back, he broke into my house and he stole things. And not only that, he didn't even cut my grass. So that would be an example of someone taking something but not giving anything back. All right, so let's talk about some of the symptoms that might occur if someone has parasites. All right, number one, fatigue. That's a real big symptom. Weight loss, itchy private parts, bloating, you're nauseous, diarrhea. Now, what are the best remedies for parasites? Wormwood extract. You can get this at the health food store. It's a very, very toxic plant for parasites because the goal is to make the environment so unfriendly that the parasites have to leave your body. Number two, black walnut hulls. Very, very toxic to parasites. Garlic has been known to even kill parasites. And clove. Okay, this is the combination that I would recommend. Now, of course, when you are trying to get rid of parasites, you want to avoid certain foods, especially uh, sugary foods, refined carbohydrates, and definitely milk. Now, before you start these herbs, I'm going to recommend you get some purified bile salts. And you want to take, I'd say, maybe three through the day on an empty stomach. So maybe you take one in the morning, one in the early afternoon and then maybe one before you go to bed. Okay, so do that for one day. Then the second day, you start on this protocol. Why? Because when you take purified bile salts, you will start to open up the flows of your bile ducts. And because when you start to take these herbs, it's gonna kill off microbes. It can even break open the microbe, which could actually release endotoxins, which tend to shut down the the bile ducts, and that's when you feel sick when you're trying to do a detox or you're trying to kill off parasites or fungus. So I always recommend this: take this one little step, get your liver and bile ducts flowing first for a day, then do this. I've learned the hard way. I've done so many different cleanses and even parasite uh, cleanses, and I end up getting sick because I didn't know about this. You keep those bile ducts open and keep things flowing and uh, you won't have any detox reactions. So when you take these as well, go slow. Like maybe take one of each, see how you do. And then the next day, take a little bit more and a little bit more until you reach the recommended uh, amount on the directions that is on the bottle. Now, when you're doing parasite cleanses, I would do them for minimally one month, uh, but maybe six weeks. And then at that point, stop taking it, see how you do. And it's not a bad thing to do this every so often, maybe every six months. And one last thing that I think is really, really important is taking apple cider vinegar on a regular basis. You can even give apple cider vinegar to animals to kill off their parasites. So this is a really good thing for humans as well. All right, thanks for watching. Hey, before you go real quick, I have a course entitled How to Bulletproof your immune system. It's a free course. I want you to take it. And here's why. Here's you. Here is your environment. Everyone is focused on this over here, avoiding your environment. But what about here? What about strengthening your immune system? That's what's missing. This course will show you how to bulletproof yourself. And so you can tolerate and resist your environment much better by strengthening 
your own immune system. I put a link down in the description right down below. Check it out and get signed up today.